everyone so we are going to discuss delivery of packets at network layer so let's start so we are already familiar with these seven layers in iso osi model which is physical layer data link layer network layer transport layer session layer presentation layer and application layer so we are going to discuss the handling how we are handling packets at network layer this particular layer so delivery of packets basically means how we are handling packets means how we are uh, when we are receiving it how we are forwarding it to whom we are forwarding it in how many steps we are forwarding it so all those things we are going to see suppose that you got this packet let me it a packet and uh, this is your system one and you want it to send it to system two and you both are in same network you both are present in same network so what you can do is you can directly send this packet to, from your system one to some other system which is system 2 you can directly send, send in but the case should be that you both should be present in the same network one more case it covers is when when suppose this is a router and this is your destination this packet must be sent by some source and uh, it must be having some address to which it should be sent means to what destination this packet will be delivered okay so if this uh, this packet is going uh, going to be forwarded by this router uh, to that destination so this type of delivery is also under direct delivery let me mention the types specifically once here then discussing that will be better so types of delivery the first is direct delivery and the second one is indirect delivery okay so as we saw here that if uh, if that packet is sent from uh, a source which to a destination uh, in which both are in the same network then it comes under direct delivery means it can uh, we can send it directly to system 2 and uh, suppose uh, that your packet is getting forwarded in the network and uh, uh, suppose that it uh, it is with a router which uh, which knows that uh, uh, like uh, that destination is really near to me i can send it in one go so that delivery will also be direct means this router in one go can send the packet to the destination so this is also what we call direct delivery okay so in case of indirect delivery suppose this is a packet and your source is system 1 and your destination is system 2 but both are in different networks Okay, let me just remove it and draw it once again here. This is system 1 and let's draw system 2 over here 
and it is network let's name it network one and network two let's call it network one and this is network two suppose these are very from, uh, far from each other so there must be some routers in between yeah suppose these are routers so firstly uh, system one will send the packet to router one r1 r2 and r3 then r1 finds that uh, in the way toward the destination there comes uh, router 2 so if i send it here it will be a bit easier for the packet uh, to get transferred to the destination so it it plays the packet here so again then router 2 finds out that uh, it uh, the packet should be sent to router 3 because i am not very much reachable to the system 2 because system 2 is uh, very far from me so it will send it to the router 3 then router 3 finds out that system 2 is uh, near to me and i can send the, your packet in just one go so it will send it in one go to system 2 and this network uh, your packet will be delivered to the destination so here we can see that uh, in one go we were not able to send our packet directly from uh, system one to system two okay so what we did is firstly we sent our packet to router one then router two then uh, router two send it to uh, router three then uh, then router three send it to the system two so that's how uh, we able to deliver our packet so in one go we are not able to send so this is what we call indirect delivery so this is how uh, we'll send the packets or we'll manage the packets in uh, uh, at network layer ip packets at network layer so thank you so much.